بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين عن أنس بن مالك رضي الله عنه قال قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم تسحروا فإن في السحور بركة أنس بن مالك رضي الله عنه قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم said تسحروا take the سحور قال سحور or السحور with a fat on the scene or a dumb on the scene فإن في السحور أو في السحور بركة for there is بركة there is blessings in the سحور وقت uh, السحر this is the last part of the night Sahar is the last part of the night right before Fajr uh, and the scholars have mentioned that you can take the suhoor when uh, half the night has passed so the time for suhoor to obtain that sunnah is when half the night has passed so when Maghrib comes in sunset until Fajr when half that time has passed uh, half that halfway point after that you can take the suhoor and attain the blessings of having a uh, Eaten this the, the, the suhoor and attain the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Although it is better to delay it uh, towards the very end of the night, to delay to the very end of the night. And Rasulullah sallallahu says that there is baraka. There is baraka in the suhoor. What is the baraka that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi is speaking about? The scholars have mentioned a number of different explanations of what is the baraka of the suhoor, and the muhakkikun uh, of the. Later scholars have said that all of these are valid and all of these are part of the uh, barakah of the suhoor. Number one is that the suhoor is mukhalafat li ahlil kitab. It is differing from the Jews and Christians. We're not the only ones who fast. The other uh, religions before us, they fasted, but they didn't have the suhoor. They did not take the suhoor, they fast without suhoor. So when we take the suhoor, this is differing from the ahl kitab and we've been commanded to be different from them. We don't make our rituals like them. We differ with, with them as much as we can. So this is from the Barak of Suhoor that we are differing from Ahl Kitab and we are following our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Also from the Barak of Suhoor is that it helps a person in their fast. It gives you strength in your fasting. Because when we're fasting, we don't want to just be lazy around the entire day, sleeping, uh, lethargic. We want to be able to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. All right, we want to be able to worship. Yes, we don't have food or drink, and we're going to be weak, but we don't want to be weak to the point where we cannot make dua anymore, where we cannot offer extra rakaat, where we cannot make dua, where we cannot provide extra worship in the month of Ramadan. So, we want to have enough energy to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the day and not sleep during the entire day and not be lethargic during the entire day. So, the suhoor helps with that. And lastly, the suhoor is barakah in that when you get up for suhoor, this is a blessed time. This is the last third of the night. This is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lowest heaven. And this opens the door for a number of different opportunities. This is the time for dua. So you wake up for suhoor and now you have uh, in front of you the best time to make dua. You wake up for suhoor, this is now the best time for you to ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have the opportunity to come and pray in the masjid. All right, uh, many of us are here. We came, we wake up, we woke up for the suhoor, and we are able to come to the masjid easy. And there's no difficulty in coming, as opposed to when you have to get up without eating the suhoor and you just come straight to the masjid. It's much more difficult. But when you get up for the suhoor, all these doors open up for you. You can make dua, you can offer extra prayer, the tahajjud prayer, you can come and offer the salah in the masjid. All these things are made easier by taking the suhoor. So in the suhoor is barakah. It is uh, strengthening for the fasting person so that he can uh, fulfill the day with the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is differing from the Jews and Christians and those other religions who might have some kind of fasting but they don't have the fasting like we do wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala sayyidina muhammad walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen subhanakallahu wa bihamdik nashadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayhi